Hi there, I'm ABC 10 News reporter and anchor Jared Ahrens. Thanks for spending a few minutes this morning with me so we can read together. You know, since 2016, ABC 10 News and the Scripps Howard Foundation have teamed up with Scholastic Book Fairs to help bring thousands of books to San Diego children in need all free of charge. And this year, for the first time ever, we let you, our viewers, join us in that effort. Your support in this effort is greater than ever and more important than ever, especially now. And to celebrate how generous you all were, best-selling author Peter H. Reynolds is letting us read his book, Say Something. In this book, we'll explore the many ways that a single voice can make a difference. There are so many different ways to tell the world who you are and what you think what you believe and how you're going to make it better. So if you're ready, let's all say something. By Peter H. Reynolds. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes. Yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from the heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways, with words, with action, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, like here, someone sitting alone, say something just by being there for them. Say hello. Say how you doing. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it grow. If you see someone being hurt like this, we can see someone getting hurt or being bullied, say something by being brave. Say, hey, stop. If you see something beautiful, maybe a flower or a sunset like we have here in San Diego, say something with a poem. This child is saying, painted meadow splashed with rainbows. It's a good image. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. Eureka, she says. Eureka is a fun word. It means I got it. Say it with me. Eureka. If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da. She's saying something with her clothes. This shirt has a peace sign that looks like a flower. If you're angry, say something to help people understand. She explains, you made me feel invisible. That really hurt. And he says, I'm really sorry. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. No more hurting people. Peace, his sign says. Inspire others to do the same. Maybe from his sign, other people made signs of their own that say peace, make more light. I love the ocean. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening, but keep saying what's in your heart and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it and you may be surprised to find the whole world listening. If you're grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. You can say thank you. Some people find it easier to say something than others. They say, I hope, I believe, I wish, I imagine, I'm ready to change the world. Join us, together we can, all different ways to say something. Because everyone has something to say. So when you're ready, and now we're all going to say this together on the count of three. One, two, three. Say something. Your voice can inspire, heal, and transform. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? Peter Hamilton Reynolds. We'd like to thank the author again for letting us share Say Something with all of you. And we'd like to thank you for all of your support with our project literacy effort over the last year, helping get books to kids in need. If you want to learn more or lend your support to project literacy, you can go to 10news.com and look for our page about project literacy. Thanks again for joining me. 
Have a great day. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jared Ahrens.